Okay, here we go. Jack Pacific, Jack's Pacific Chewbacca. Not a bad sculpt at all. Nice. I like it. Paintwork, not so much. So I've taken the, the head off the body. Uh, there was an injection mould um, pin there. So I've filled that in. Sanded the seam line. Some areas. So that's, that's good to go. So that will need a prime coat and then we'll get into the actual painting process we're going to redo the eyes because they look a little bit once more slit than the other not quite as big so widen that up a bit might do some dremel work on it as well so that's the head the arms going to fill in the seams have it a static position I've taken these off the main body. Unfortunately, the hand broke off this one. I was trying to take it apart. Not a problem. We'll just adhere that back together. And that's the body. I'm going to get rid of those seam lines again as well. And this was brought from a charity shop for the princely sum of eight pounds. Thanks, Mum. So, yeah, quite a nice texture there and everything, but just need to get rid of the seam lines. So what I'm going to use for that is um, magic, magic sculpt. You get a B. A and B. Got these off eBay a long time ago, and you just mix them together as a putty, and then they set hard. But you can wet your finger and then just get that into the the grooves and everything, and manipulate the putty when it's still soft. So that's the first section. Um, right. So I'm going to fill all this and I'll be right back right so redone the, the arms and they just need a little bit of fine tuning it's getting there A bit of more sculpting and then just starting on the on the body get rid of that big massive seam that's doesn't need to be there and then we'll do the legs I forgot also to mention it does come with the bag as well and the bandolier which will also repaint soft material right on to filling and I'll be right back okay we're just gonna give Chewy or Chewbacca his head quick primer coat just using Halfords to start with that's the profile
this is a fairly decent sculpt to Chewbacca, to be honest with you. Quite pleased. There we go. One light coat of Halford's Primer. I'll just leave that to cure. 24 hours, good to go. Okay, here we go. <coughs> okay, here we go. Chewbacca. Now, I really like this sculpt. I have primed him. Ready to go. That's the head. The arms just filled in the seams. Not brilliant at the moment. Once it's painted, it will look better. The bag, bandolier, primed and painted. Not a thick prime, obviously. And the body. Again, the seams are filled in. Once this is all painted up, you get a better idea what it looks like. The paint, I'm just using acrylic, and I've done a brown mixed with white and with some yellow. I'm just going to give this a base coat on the arms, give you an idea process as in no process at all it's just putting a light well a coat of paint on this will take two coats for the whole well for everything uh, just getting all the cracks and paint them up and as soon as I do that, I'll be right back. Time to paint Chewbacca's hand. Now we're just going to go with black. So what I've done, I've got some acrylic paint, black obviously, and then I'm just going to use some screen wash for the cars or for cars just to thin it down this helps obviously thin it down but also makes it evaporate quite quickly so just a case of carefully painting what was originally black gloves or is for Chewbacca for the costume. Sorry. 
This will dry matte to a matte finish. Just a little hair. So there you go, that's one hand painted and I'll speed up the process for the next hand. So while we're at it, we'll bring in Chewbacca, we'll get that nose painted.
So there we go. That's his nose. Just do his nostrils now. Chewbacca. So that's it for this session. The next session is once that's dried, we're going to do some dry brushing on the fur and then we're going to attach the arms do some more magic sculpt on that, paint that up, and then some airbrushing. Be right back. We are going to paint Chewbacca's eyes. So I've got a little bit of the white, a little bit of the old screen wash. useless <coughs> need a finer brush be right back Shit. Slice sockets are quite small. That'll do for that side. Paints a touch thin.
the actual I I am um, looking at these the actual the sockets already not just the socket but the actual eyeball part is there in the moulding So I'll leave it at that for that. Now on to the dry brushing. So I'll grab some of the white. Different brush. to the brown and some yellow Let's see how we get on with that for the dry brushing. So I'm on a sort of blondish colouring to the hair. Introduce some more of the white. Well, that's the basic colour we want. So I need to just get some kitchen roll. I'll be right back. So with dry brushing, we are going to get a lot of the paint off. Let's 
see. First it looks a bit rubbish but It just picks up the, the highlights of the fur. See that? Uh, if you bring back in the other arm, you'll see the difference. A little bit of work. The reason I'm doing the arms first is because I want to Reattach the arms, re sculpt the edges, and then uh, we can crack on with dry brushing the rest.
that will dry slightly darker anyway, but so what I'll do now is I'll do the second arm, I won't film that, and then we'll get back to reattaching the arms with super glue and then sculpting just some of the hairlines back in. Be right back. So now we've dry brushed the arms, done some dry brushing on Chewbacca's front face. I'm not doing the forehead because that's going to be dark grey and added a light uh, white to the bottom lip just to enhance it. it's very subtle so now we're going to just attach the arms simple as I had to trim off some of that bits So what I'm trying to do is just try and match the hairline. So a bit about there. And then we're going to fill those gaps in with magic sculpt after I super glue those in position. But we'll super glue them first, let them set and we'll be right back with the magic sculpt right i just want to talk you through chewbacca the face and head so i've dry brushed the moustache on and dry brushed the hair i was going to airbrush it but thought it'd come out nicer. For the eyes, all I've done is cut a cocktail stick, cut the end off, dipped it in blue, just jab that into the eye socket for the blue section, and then for the black, cut a smaller Oh, further up towards the tip, cut that bit off, jab that into the black paint, dab that over. And then once that's cured, I'm going to glaze it over with a two part epoxy. So that's the head. He's done. I'm pleased with that. There's even some hair detail on the moustache, you can't pick it up, but there is. Once those eyes are glazed as well, I think he's going to look mighty fine. Right, next part is going to be sculpting in or filling in the seams on the arms. And once I've done that, I'm not going to show that. I'll show you the process of just sculpting in hairs over the top. Be right back. I have filled in the arms joints. Now I'm just going to 
just roll up some little bits of magic sculpt into little sausages following the lines that are already there with the the base Chewbacca and just add those in cover up the seams so it's not so obvious that they're uh, well but they're filled in so want to get rid of that sort of joint really so I'll speed up this process and I'll be right back That's, that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm not going to overdo the add-ons to the shoulders. And then once that's dry, the next stage, a light coat of brown paint. And then we're going to do the black painting section. Just to go over a few things now, I've pretty much finished. So got two part five minute curing epoxy resin and just detailed the eyes so that's that was the head done then onto the body so I pretty much dry brushed the gray on and then did a lighter gray dry brush this over the top just to highlight the hair and the toenails are just painted on then this is working on the new hope uh, hair markings then I painted it all over with Pledge floor polish. This just protects the paintwork from getting chipped or damaged. So that's the body. And then the bag. <coughs> just painted silver on for the metal boxes. I know this 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 um, bandolier is from The Force Awakens or um, the latest one, The Last Jedi. And the paint I used was Tamiya X32 Titanium Silver. And then these are supposed to be sort of goldish colour. So that was just a bit of yellow paint and then some five minute epoxy over the top and then weathered the bag. And <coughs> for these concho coins that are on the, the real one, I just got the end of a, a brush, dipped it in paint, dabbed it on there and that's how you get a perfect circle. That's the other side was better than that side, but so what we'll do next is we'll assemble him and we'll be right back.
So here he is. All finished off with his bandolier. I think that's a good profile, personally. Well, that's down to the sculpt. So I'll take a few shots against a white background and we'll compare it to the original shot brought Jack's Pacific Chewbacca. <laughs> 